All right. So today we got to shoot everything in one take because I have no laptop for editing. Um, I got one that'll upload, but it won't edit my videos. Got we moved the Chevy Volt batteries. These things are awesome. I cannot wait to use them. They even have liquid cooling and oh, this is gonna be great. Can't wait. 16 kilowatts here. And then today what I worked on was I got my third row of 12 uh, Hyundai Sonata batteries hooked up. Uh, I have the lugs facing up so I put tape over them. All the rest of the lugs are facing down so I'm not too scared of anything hitting them. Uh, but the problem is uh, these batteries, all these lithium batteries, all those, all those, including the Nissan Leaf battery, they're all sitting at 64.5 volts and this bank here they're all sitting at 59.5 volts so I cannot hook it up if I do I'll absolutely fry this uh, BMS so I'm just waiting but uh, yeah looking like uh, about a 20 kilowatt power wall including uh, this pack maybe maybe a bit more than 20 kilowatts obviously I'm not that's not usable that is rated so maybe if you had a DC load that ran these from full charge to fully discharged uh, you might get 10, 20 kilowatts I'm thinking uh, I got about 15 kilowatts usable um, including that battery like that is full usable capacity so between rated and usable very different very different things um, well it What's, what's rated, on the DC side, I'm probably got more like 18 kilowatts usable from, because I only charge to about 90% and I discharge to about 15-20%. Uh, uh, but going through this inverter, I lose 10% on top of that. So, I'm probably maybe like 16 kilowatts. Everything's been working really good. I got a decent amount of sun today. Uh, 7.6 kilowatts, not bad for a snowy day. Uh, the lightning arrestor is hooked up. I charged my batteries through the Magnusine inverter. Uh, these uh, gel batteries. So they're fully charged, completely topped off, ready to go in, em in emergencies. Um, yeah, next thing I gotta do is just, I'm hooking this up through this line. I know I keep talking about that, but this line, I'm almost ready. I'm gonna poke it through the wall. I'm going to for uh, to a transfer switch, and uh, yeah, we're gonna do some off-grid tests. It's gonna be great uh, with the Chevy Volt batteries on the Magnusine inverter. I'm gonna have some sort of bypass switch, so I can also use this inverter in the house. Even though this is only 120, this is 122.40, so obviously only the 120 outlets will work in the house. Uh, the 240 will not, and that includes my well pump, which is kind of uh, unacceptable because we need water. I absolutely need water. So this is going to be the main house inverter. This is going to be auxiliary. I'm, I'm going to put certain loads on it. I might put like the dishwasher or whatnot on this. We'll see. But uh, so far, I really like my reliable 8,000 watt inverter. It runs 24/7 for the last I don't know six months. I've had it, I think, and it just just keeps kicking. Uh, I've been in here the whole time, been pulling about 500 watts the whole time. Fans have not kicked on. It's not even warm. It's not warm anywhere. Usually, if it's warm, you can feel it coming out the vents, but nope, not even warm. Anyways, I'll give you guys a look at what's going on outside. Wow, the camera, this camera take, picks up uh, low light conditions really well. It actually looks brighter on the camera than it does in real life. Crazy. The wind turbine. She's spinning. Not making much power, but she's spinning. It's not that windy either. Got a little bit of wind. Uh, my guys got me a uh, Christmas present here. I've been lacking in garage space, that little garage there, so for Christmas I got this 
tent, this garage tent, and uh, my wife's Jeep's inside of it. We'll go inside just for a second. You can hear the snow hitting it. That's pretty nice. Nice to park the Jeep in. It'll be nice for working on vehicles in the summer because I can put a fan in there and get out of the sun. And yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.